welcome to Weekend Project. I'm Laura Lynn of the Mom and Pop Quilt Shop, and we are working on block seven of our 2017 Christmas quilt. And right now, it is unnamed Angel with a horn. Uh, we did find the paper piece pattern out there like this, but uh, it was actually a little bit too busy for me. I don't even, I don't even, I didn't want to try. So I thought, you know what? Uh, let's try let's go for some applique and that way they can design their own hands and hair and wings and everything else for the to do with the the angel so uh that's what we've done so once pop gets it out so you can actually download it and trace this out onto uh heat and bond or a stabilizer and then just flip and flop and of course if you want your angel going the other way you just do the same but just trace her out you know so whichever way you want your angel to go to which way she ever wants to blow her horn okay so uh I, pop and i were thinking about this and we've got our background here and uh i think this comes out to a ten and a half and a ten and a half inch block but really you just need to concentrate on the angel itself and putting it on your background whatever size you want to make it at uh the the average one is in the quilt is 13 inches, uh, but we will add pieces of background sashing fabric and so on and so forth to square up some other ones along the way because we have some smaller ones and we have some bigger ones and not bigger ones, but smaller ones that we have to add to. So nonetheless, uh, I'm leaving this at 11 inches, okay? So I would like to add like an, still another little two inch piece of such and such to match all the rest of my doodads going on. So we're gonna work on this but we're gonna put it here, kind of right where we wanna go. Just eyeball it. And then the most important piece, you have to think of this, okay? What goes first? Well, her hand goes above the, uh, is over the horn, right? But the horn is in, tucked into her mouth, so it would be under the face. So you really have to think of all these things first. So to get proper placement, uh, this is this is my horn here. Um, I just chose a nice little shiny fabric. I traced out the little horn shape right there and and tacked it down. And it's a it's a heat and bond. So I put it on my girl here, like on my little template, okay. And I know that's where I want it to be. Cause that's the way, cause I don't want to start this off and it be on the side or I have done it too far and then, you know, her body's off the block. So this is going to help give you proper placement uh, for the center of your block. So really the two secret, this not secret, secret, the, the two essential pieces you need right now is the horn and the head or the face piece, right? And uh, we have the two little, I, th I was hoping it wasn't too much of a, of a close color between the, the goldy colors there, but make sure you got your, her face right th where it needs to be. Okay. Cause she's, and the horns just tucked right under her like a little mouth area there. And then what I did is I just kind of took a little pin and held the two of those together, lifted it up, and then just shifted my paper out, okay? Very carefully. And then boom, there you go. You got your little placement, right? So now, since this is heat and bond, we can go and give this a press right now to say that it's gonna stay in that zone. So we're just gonna shift our little piece of paper right back under to stabilize it as we take it over to the ironing board. Oh, shush. <laughs> Not right now, Clive. Okay. And this is what I have for a part of her skirt. So we'll get to that next, but making sure I just want to make sure this is, hasn't shifted too much. I want just a little bit. That's supposed to be her nose. That's enough for the horn to come up. Okay, and then just give it a quick little press. It's only supposed to be a couple of seconds, and then that stuff's not going to go anywhere. One, two, three, four, five. Oh. You know what? It helps if you peel off the paper of the face. <laughs> I peeled it off the horn, but not the face. <laughs> okay, the horn's in there. <laughs> Silly. You could score it too or just give it a little fold or something like that. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Put your face back on. That just sounds kind of weird. Sorry. I want to make sure it's lining up. Now, since that is tacked down, I want to make sure I'm still at the right spot. Have my head going the right direction because she's tilted up. She's blown towards the heavens, right? Angels on high, okay? 
tweaker just a smidge. Just want to make, you can always, you know, if you have to go a little balance in between, do a little balance in between. But, you know, we're trying to get it the best that we can to this design. Okay. So there's her little head and horn. And then we have to literally think this out through here now. Okay. Because the wings is going to go behind the hair. And the hand goes underneath the sleeve. So we need to line that up. Like I said, this is where your little template's going to come in handy. Just kind of lay it over top. You can feel it. You know how it's going to feel. Okay. So the hand goes there. Move it out of the way. Okay. And then there's the sleeve. Peel it. I don't think I peeled the paper off the hand. That's okay. Actually, I needed to get this stuff specifically for um, some jerseys I was fixing. And, um, oh, no, sleeves on the other side here. There we go. Okay. Like I said, no. So uh, it was my first time actually buying the heat and bond. It was the only way I could think I could get the numbers to stick on the back of the jersey without, because it was a, a really kind of heavy duty plastic and there was no way I could put pins through it. Okay, we kind of know where that's going. And I was asking Pop, why the pointy hand? Like, because I made a round hand too, <laughs> just in case. But, um, and he says, well, I think she's praying with the horn like that. And I'm like, oh, that makes sense. All right, we'll keep it as a point then. So, because we, we were a little quizzical of why. <laughs> but it's okay. All right, so I have this, a uh, little bit of holly with a berry on it for the main body of the angel's dress. And since it seems to be kind of, you know, diet, you know what I mean, in order, I'm kind of just going to place it on an angle to get some, a bit of a different effect. You know what I mean? Just to, just to make it a little bit different. Okay, so let's put this. This is actually how you heat this. It actually says heat and bond right there, light. And you place it on the wrong side of your fabric, this little meshy side right here. And you hold it down for only two seconds. That gives you enough time to adhere. So one, two, one, two, and off. Give it time to cool, okay? And then you go and you trace out what you need, peel your paper and lay in place. So I want to make sure that when we lay this next piece, which is the body of the dress, it is getting tucked, the sleeve is getting tucked under that, right? And then this part will be the other little part over her shawl, like her sh shoulders, but that's got to go under the hair. You know, there's all these things that you kind of have to think of um, ahead, of the, ahead of the game sort of thing, right? I'm trying to think of, we should probably just press in at the same, the little ones all at the same time sort of thing. I think we're okay for that one. I just want to double check. Use the template as your guide. The sleeve can come down just a smidge. Hand can come over. Fighting with the hand here. Okay. Well, it seems like that sleeve is out of place. Why is that sleeve out of place? Should be the corner right here. Okay. And the other corner. Okay. There we go. Now I'm just going to press those two to make sure they stay where they are. And this is where one of those little um, small little irons come in handy, stepping having to go back and forth to each of your, uh, you know, stations or something like that. You can just do a little quick press. Okay, so there's that. Now we need to make sure we've got our main body, which now that it's cooled, let's give that a little trim. Okay. Main body of her dress or robe or whatever. And this goes under the shawly part. 
sure that shawly is not the official word. <laughs> but shawl-like thing. All right. And of course, I think of this angel when she's um, having her horn blown up high that she's praying for uh, peace. And that is our secret word for today. On week seven is peace, P-E-A-C-E. -E. Hope you're paying attention. If not, I can't help you. <laughs> okay, now that goes over there. Nope, it goes over there. Oh, gotta line this up a bit here. Just wanna make sure I'm doing this right. I think that's gotta come up. That's good. Why she has got no feet, I don't know, but that's okay. There, is that right? That looks all right. So those two would go there. I just wanna make sure I'm not missing anything so I can just tack those down because I then I need to put the wings and then the hair and then that's it. We just need the wings and the hair, right? Yeah, that's easy. Oh. And if you didn't want to um, stitch it down, you don't have to. This stuff is going to stay, but I would at least maybe do, I don't know, some sort of little free motion stitch at some. Okay, I just want to make sure that her hair is going to sit where it needs because it goes just over her shawl. Okay. And then of course, oops, got to bring her little hair just up a bit. And then of course, right behind are those wings. Okay. There we go. I think she looks pretty cute. Okay, so let's just tack these two down. Did I get their paper peeled off? No, I did for the big one, not for the little one. Okay, see I'm so, <laughs> so unused to doing that. We said just tacking it to one side to stabilize it so I can just sew the crud right out of it. <laughs> okay, let's let's do this one at a time. Do 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 one at a time. All right. Now this just takes only two no, this was actually a little bit more seconds. This was like four four or five seconds. You're supposed to hold this one for to get it on there. So Okay. And then we'll line up the shawl. Give that a second to, to cool down. Just I don't want to make sure it's 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 too sticky before it's time. Or we're not ready. Did I, it's like where's my angel and she's hiding underneath. <laughs> Silly. Okay. So there. Okay, you go like that there. There we go. And then just press it. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and then we'll do some wing. Which, let's peel the paper off before we start trying to stick it down. Actually, and I can see my little stitch, my um, trace line, so I'm just going to try and cut that out a little bit better because I really don't want you to see my little trace line, especially on the white. I couldn't get my pencil to work. It was just ripping the stuff apart, so I'm like, how could I copy onto here, onto this heat and bonds uh, paper? the pencil wasn't working. Of course the pin, but then you end up with little bitsy -de bobs all over the place, so that's okay. I got a little bucket to put in. <laughs> all right, come on. Let's go. Well, no. Okay, now let's peel the one off the hair too. And of course, you can pick yours any color. I was trying to look for some really, like a red, but like for a redhead, but no such luck. So blondie she is. Right, now place 
So it's covering her top of her noggin and it's coming down over the shawl and it's giving that effect of the ear with that little curve in the hair and your wings are tucked underneath a little bit closer to the body All right let's take a look at our girl that's good yeah a little bit closer to the body for the wings that's good to actually you could take it out just a smidge I think we're rocking. We're ready to do our last little press. And then I'll show you our little delicate flowery angel. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. There we go. Make sure she's on there. Is she cute? I think she's adorable. Adorable. And now, just so you want to make sure she stays there, especially if you're going to be washing and wearing this quilt, like we probably, I'm not sure whether we will or not. We haven't used the last one except to show. Um, and then just do a little stitch around. I just chose white. I probably should choose gold. I don't know. Black. I don't know. I chose white because of the little sparkle in the star, and I thought it'd be a nice little common tone all throughout the fabric. So, because there's white in here, white in there. So, I think that's what we'll do. And I just have it on a very tiny zigzag. I was going to do an applique stitch, but I changed my mind. Um, I'm just going to come up on one side of the horn and go pretty much try and make my way all the way around her figure. I'm not sure if I'll come all the way up onto here or not, but we'll decide. We'll decide. Hold on. There we move a little closer. And then just put her all the way around. Okay. We'll do up the tip of the fingers for her praying little hands. And come down. And then to the edge of the horn. Remember when you're doing any sort of curve to stop on the outside. Hopefully you're having a fantastic Saturday and looking forward to tomorrow's live stream. We're hopefully going to finish off at least the first tree skirt and um, and start uh, working on the second one, or at least finishing it up, or starting it anyways. Probably finish it off up off camera so we can prep for the long arm part of it. But we're getting very excited. Trust me. Very, very excited. Uh, we have lots of fan mail to go through. Very, very excited as well about that. You guys are totally awesome in your blocks you've been sending me for this lovely uh, international quilt. All the, all you people who love watching the quilt shop and hanging out with Pop and I and, and Munchkin. We had, we had a lot of fun on the Halloween special. <laughs> we hope you guys liked it too. Okay. Don't forget to reposition whenever you need to. We're getting so close. There's only like five more blocks left and then we're we're gonna put this baby together. Well, on the last one, on the last one, I'll show you how I put my top together and how you can probably comp position it in a couple of different ways if you so choose. Because you have a couple of variety of different size blocks, right? So the creativity part is really up to you at that point. Okay. And you can give your little angel a halo with some beading. Like if you have any like glass beads or stuff like that, like um, 
these little things here, you can probably put a nice little halo up there after, like after you get it all quilted and stuff. Like there's lots of beads that I said we were gonna add to this whole uh, quilt top once we got it finished. Oops, hit the wrong button. Now you can choose any way to tack your stuff, your 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 angel down. I'm doing it with a little white thread zigzag, but that's that's mine. So okay, let me just have a little part up here to do. Okay. This is where actually one of the uh, viewers um, on Sunday had, last Sunday had asked if I used invisible thread. You know what, I hadn't really thought of it, use for it until today, until trying to maybe not do so much stitching on this pretty little face um, to keep it there. So, you know, maybe I might, I might invest in some invisible thread, I don't know. Okay, just want to finish up near her hand here. And then there was the under part of the horn. There's the little tip of her hand right here. There we go. And then the under part of her horn and then we're done. And I hope you enjoyed this block. And if you make the angel or an angel or some angelic figure of any quarter sorts, um, Flying pigs included. <laughs> uh, I would love to see. Okay, so let's do a little trimmings where I started and stopped, and then we will show you. Okay, there we go. Is it cute? It's very lovely. You can even see the outline shape on the back side. See? Ooh, bling the hole for the angels. All right, have a fantastic Saturday, everybody. And uh, we will see you tomorrow on the live stream. Okay, take care. See, what, what did I forget? Time change. Oh, right, sorry, time change, forgot. Um, tomorrow, uh, we fall, well, tonight, tomorrow, we fall back one hour. So we still will be at 3 p.m. Eastern, but just check to wherever you are because we will still be at 3 p.m. Eastern, but we do fall back, okay? So we'll see you then. All right, take care, everybody. Thanks, Pop, for the reminder. See you later. Bye-bye.